Welcome to this yoga practice. I'm so happy you're here. We're going to do a morning stretch routine. It'll be really easy, really fast. You'll feel great for the rest of your day. Let's get started. Let's start in Shavasana with one hand on our heart and one hand on our abdomen. We'll take some deep breaths together, beginning with an inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, let's inhale. And exhale. Bringing our arms to the side of our body. Let's bend our knees, hug them into the chest. Give them a nice tight squeeze. Maybe lift your head off the mat. And release the arms down to the side. Stretch your toes into the sky for five, four, three, two, one. And then lower the left foot to the ground, keeping the leg bent. Bend the right knee into the chest, hugging it in as tight as you can. Maybe keep the toes pointed or make some circles with the ankle, one side and then the other. Release the right knee Bring the foot to the mat. Left knee into the chest. Hug it tight. And maybe make some circles. Other side. And release. We're going to take some spinal roll ups with a bridge pose. Beginning with our feet comfortable distance apart. They can be touching, but I find it a little more comfortable for my hips if they're slightly apart. And we begin by rolling up our tailbone, reaching our chest to the sky, coming onto our shoulders, getting a nice arch in our back. And then we slowly lower down the thoracic spine, coming down to the lumbar, and finally our tailbone. So we'll take a couple of these together with our breath. We'll inhale, reaching our hips to the sky, lifting our chest as high as we can, and then exhale, lowering all the way down to the mat. Inhale. And exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale, lower. One more time, let's inhale. And maybe this time you exhale, take your hands behind your back, clasp them together and open up the shoulders, holding the bridge pose.
release the hands take one last inhale reach the hips up and exhale lower down slowly stretch out the left leg and bring the right knee into the chest Grab a hold of the right knee with the left hand, stretch the right arm to the side. We're going to take a spinal twist, bringing the right knee to the mat, keeping the right shoulder grounded. Maybe keep the knee pressed down with the left hand. Close the eyes. Breathing into the torso. Letting the body slowly wake up and release from any stiffness from the night. Let's lift our knee back into center. Bring it in for one last little hug. Hugging it up to the armpit. Keeping the left leg grounded. And then release the leg, point it up to the sky and slowly lower it to meet the left. Bringing the left knee into the chest for a hug. Keeping the right leg nice and long. Grabbing the left knee with the right hand, reaching the left arm out, and then taking a spinal twist on the other side. Maybe keep the left knee pressed down with the right hand. Keep the left shoulder grounded to the mat. We can release the leg back to center, taking it in for one last hug, hugging it into the armpit, keeping the right leg nice and long on the mat, and then release the knee, point the toes up to the sky, and slowly lower the left leg to meet the right. Closing our eyes for a moment, let's take a few breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, let's inhale and exhale. Let's find our way to hand and knees position. Let's press up and send the hips into the sky, keeping the knees bent. Waking up the backside of the body stretching every finger out, pressing into the palms, opening up the bottom side of the feet. Letting the head hang down. Maybe straighten one leg and then the other. Ah. Uh. 
back and forth. And if you're ready, press both heels toward the mat, straighten the legs, looking beyond the thighs, hips are reaching up to the sky, you can have a micro bend in your arms, keeping the muscles engaged. Close the eyes. Bending the knees and taking some steps to the front of the mat. Keep the knees bent and make a little space in between each toe. Option to take ragdoll, maybe grab the elbows behind your knees, straighten the legs, and let your head fall toward the mat. Close the eyes. can bend the knees, release the hands to the mat, and slowly wrap one vertebrae at a time. Inhale the arms up. When you're into dasana, if you find that your arms are really coming forward like this, an option is to bend them at the elbows, opening up the chest keeping the elbows and shoulders in alignment with the hands. Balancing equally on the left and right side, looking forward, reaching through the crown of the head. It's a good time to set an intention for the day. Maybe it's just to have a great day or maybe you have something else in mind. Get in touch with that feeling right now. Taking all this positive energy that's inside of you and putting it toward yourself, your goals, your day, your life. And let's open the eyes, inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to hips and slowly fold forward with this flat back. First, we can bring our hands to our upper thighs, stretching out into axial extension. So a straight line from the tailbone to the crown of the head. You might feel it in the back of your legs right now. Definitely I am. <laughs> and we'll slowly lower down below the knees, keeping it straight from the tailbone to the crown of the head, slowly lowering, slowly opening up the body, checking in with the feet, making sure you're not falling forward or backwards. Keep it nice and balanced and then lower all the way down, either to the mat or into a rag doll. Legs can be bent or straight. And we'll lower our head and hang here, close the eyes and take a few deep breaths.
we can look up, plant our hands, step back into plank. We'll hold our plank for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees to the mat. We'll take knees, chest, chin. So bring your chin down on your chest, keeping the hips high. And then lower the belly onto the mat. Coming into baby cobra, big toes together, elbows are tucked into the body, reaching the heart through the shoulders, looking forward. Breathing steadily here, holding this pose just for a moment. And we'll push up, coming into plank. Exhale back into downward facing dog. From here, we can walk the hands in a little bit closer. Grab the right ankle with the left hand, taking a twist, looking under the right armpit. And release the left hand to the mat. Let's take the right hand to the left ankle, taking our twist, looking under the left armpit. the right hand to the mat, bend the knees, lower them down, coming up to a kneeling position. With our breath, let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, let's inhale. And exhale. Let's take a back bend. We'll get into camel pose, bringing our hands to our lower back. Toes can be tucked. Make sure your knees are in a position that is going to support your body and your knees should be in alignment with the front side of your hips. We'll begin by leaning our head back, supporting our hips with our hands, opening up the chest. If you find your body is opening up and you want to go further, try to grab onto the heels with your hands or use a block if that is available to you. Keeping the front of the hips in alignment with the knees. And 
if you're ready to get out, let's bring our right hand to our lower back and our left hand to our lower back, coming back up to our kneeling position, untucking the toes and sitting back on the feet. Hands can come to the thighs as we let the spine reset. We can take a few breaths here just on our own. Breathing deeply into the belly. Let's open the eyes. We're going to sit back on our booty, stretching the legs out, keeping them a little bit bent, and we will slowly lower ourselves down into Shavasana. Lower the left leg, lower the right leg. Palms can face up, they can face down, they can be close to the body, far from the body. It's whatever feels good for you. Find yourself in a position where you can just be, you can just relax, closing the eyes, being present with yourself. Right now, we're going to lay here together in this peaceful moment, taking some time for yourself before you start your day, taking some time to feel excellent inside, feeling how you want to feel, feeling how you want to feel for the rest of your day. Let's get into that space together. We can flutter our eyes open, move our fingers and toes, take a big overhead stretch, reaching the arms, pointing the toes. And when you're ready, coming onto one side, let's lift up and meet in a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I'm wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Lots of peace and love. Have a wonderful day.